for the OA-5 Commercial Resupply Services mission for NASA, Orbital ATK's Cygnus spacecraft will be launched aboard an Antares rocket from the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport on Wallops Island, Virginia. On this mission, Cygnus will deliver over 2,400 kilograms or approximately 5,300 pounds of cargo to the International Space Station. The Cygnus spacecraft is comprised of two modules. The service module, or SM, houses the power subsystem, the avionics, the propulsion system, and the rest of the housekeeping hardware that enables Cygnus to fly. The service module is integrated and tested at Orbital ATK's Dulles, Virginia facility. The pressurized cargo module, or PCM, houses the cargo that is delivered to the space station and was built by Talas Alenia Space in Italy. The majority of the cargo was loaded into the PCM and the two modules were then mated, creating the complete Cygnus spacecraft. Cygnus was fueled for its mission and then transported to the Antares integration facility where the final cargo was loaded into the cargo module and the spacecraft was encapsulated in the Antares payload fairing. Two days prior to launch, Antares made the one-mile journey to Pad 0A at the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport. On launch day, the mission team will begin its countdown six and a half hours prior to launch. The launch team will conduct a final launch readiness poll at T minus 10 minutes, and at T minus three minutes and 30 seconds, the rocket's auto sequencer will be initiated. The launch, from ignition to the delivery of Cygnus into its initial orbit, will take approximately nine minutes. After liftoff, the first stage engines will burn for approximately three minutes and 20 seconds. About 15 seconds later, the first stage will separate from the rocket, and 35 seconds later, the payload fairing, which protects Cygnus as Antares flies through the atmosphere, will separate from the rocket. Four minutes and 20 seconds after launch, Antares' second stage motor will ignite and burn for approximately 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Finally, a little more than 9 minutes after launch, Cygnus will separate from the rocket. Approximately 1 hour and 20 minutes later, Cygnus will begin the deployment of its solar arrays. In the two days following launch, Cygnus will raise its orbit to catch up with the space station. On rendezvous day, mission control at NASA's Johnson Space Center will give the go for capture, and astronauts will use the station's robotic arm to grapple and berth Cygnus to the orbiting laboratory. In the following weeks, the space station crew will unload cargo from Cygnus and fill it with material for disposal. After it completes its mission at the station, Cygnus will be detached from the station, but its mission will not be complete. The cargo module carries the Sapphire II Space Combustion Experiment from NASA's Glenn Research Center that will intentionally burn materials to study open flames in space. During this portion of the mission, Cygnus will also be used to deploy several small CubeSats from an externally mounted NanoRacks deployer. At the end of the mission, ground controllers will adjust Cygnus's trajectory to conduct a safe re-entry into the atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean. Orbital ATK is proud to serve NASA's space station cargo resupply needs on the OA-5 mission. We look forward to the continued delivery of vital supplies and scientific experiments to the crew on the International Space Station as NASA continues its vital mission into the next decade.